Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Travis here with JT Wealth. In today's video, we are gonna talk about how iPhone 13 is coming out in September and everybody is looking at Apple. But in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about three stocks you can use to benefit from the iPhone 13 release without actually investing in Apple. So let's get into it. All right, welcome back everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. If you don't mind, take two seconds out of your day, hit that big thumbs up like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Also, if you're looking to open a new brokerage account, check out the links in the description section down below where you can open an account with either Robinhood, Webull, or M1 Finance and get free stocks or free cash just for opening an account you were going to open anyway. So we always appreciate it when you guys use the links because it really helps out the channel. All right, so we got three stocks to cover. Let's jump right into it. And this article from Entrepreneur talks exactly about the three Apple supplier stocks to buy before the launch of the iPhone 13 in September. And it says the iPhone maker Apple's next gen model iPhone 13 is just weeks away from launching. And iPhone supplier stocks Broadcom, Corvo, and LG Display are well positioned to benefit from this launch. So we think it could be wise to bet on them now. Now, Apple is off to a strong start today. They were up over 1.35% on the day and continued that uptrend in the after hours. They're looking at about a 7.28% upside in the next 12 months, hoping for a $162.12 average price target in that same time period. They're currently trading at about 150, 138 in the after hours. Now, while the launch of the iPhone 12 series was delayed last year due to the COVID-19 and the pandemic, Apple is expected to launch iPhone 13 by the end of September. In addition to the super fast 5G modem, the model is expected to have a better display and a significantly improved camera. And according to the Bloomberg report, Apple is boosting its production by 20% to 90 million units because they anticipate a really high demand. Now they think 44% of iPhone owners are going to be buying the new iPhone. And that's according to a survey by Cell Cell. Now, the iPhone sales accounted for 48.6% of Apple's net sales in the third quarter. Also, sales from its iPhone segment increased 49.8% year over year to $39.57 billion in the third quarter alone. So while Apple is expected to benefit significantly from the forthcoming iPhone 13, some quality iPhone suppliers are also likely to benefit. In addition, they could witness a secular demand uptick just because the 5G cycle is just getting started. So the first company we're talking about is Broadcom, ticker symbol AVGO, trading at about 489.07 in the after hours today. They have 19 ratings and are considered a strong buy on the TipRank's website. They have an 11.38% potential upside to an average analyst price target of 543.71 in the next 12 months. So global tech leader AVGO or Broadcom is out of San Jose, California, and they design, develop, and supply a broad range of semiconductor and infrastructure software solutions. The company provides several chips used in the iPhone, including chips for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and an Avago branded RF front end chip that helps the phone connect to wireless networks. Now, ticker AVGO's revenue is expected to increase 14.1% year over year to $27.24 billion in its fiscal year 2021. The company's EPS is also expected to grow by 18% year over year to $7.49 for the quarter ending October 31st of this year. In addition, it has surpassed the street's EPS estimates in each of the trailing four quarters. And over the past three months, the stock has gained 12.9%. Going on to the second stock we're talking about today, Corvo, ticker symbol QRVO, trading at 187.76 in the after hours. They are a moderate buy on the tip rank site with 15 analyst ratings, 11 of which are a buy, four are a hold, no sells. They have a 19.5% potential upside in the next 12 months, shooting for an analyst price target of 224.14. 
Now, Corvo is a leading provider of technologies and RF solutions for mobile, infrastructure, defense, and aerospace applications. They're out of Greensboro, North Carolina, and they operate through two segments, mobile products and infrastructure and defense products. And on June 7th, it announced the interoperability of its DW3000 family of products with the Apple U1 chip used in iPhone and Apple Watch models. Now, Corvo's top line surged 41% year over year to $1.11 billion for its fiscal first quarter, and the company's non-GAAP operating income for the quarter came in at $367 million, which is up 80% year over year, while its non-GAAP net income increased 84.3% year over year to $322.6 million. Its non-GAAP EPS increased 88.7% year over year to $2.83. And analysts expect Corvo's revenue to increase 18.3% year over year to $4.75 billion the current year. And the company's EPS is expected to come in at $3.25 for the quarter ending September 30th, representing a 33.7% year over year rise. In addition, it surpassed consensus EPS estimates in each of the trailing four quarters, and the stock has soared 12.9% over the last three months alone. All right, in the last Third stock we're going to talk about today is LG Display Co. And they are ticker symbol LPL trading at about $8.83 today in the after hours. They don't have any real data to showcase on the tip rank site. They have one analyst rating which is currently a hold but no price targets in the next 12 months. Now LPL is headquartered in Seoul, South Korea and they design, manufacture and sell thin film trans transistor liquid crystal displays or TFT LCD and organic light emitting diode technology based display panels. And according to a Korean tech site, LPL will supply its flexible OLEDs for the iPhone 13. Now with LPL creating the new OLED screens for the iPhone 13, it is possible we could finally see an AOD option for the iPhone, meaning always on display. Basically, what that means is you're not always going to have the screen on full color and full light, but you might be able to see the time, the date, and your notifications just pop up on your screen. Normally, you wouldn't have to touch it. So if you're sitting at your desk and your phone's right there, you can look over, see what time it is, see any notifications that come up without actually having to go out of your way to touch the phone and get them to pop up. So that is finally something that is possible as a result of the new LPL screen going in OLED for Apple. And lastly, for fiscal year 2021, LPL's revenue and EPS are expected to increase 30% and 900% respectively year over year to $26.71 billion and $1.68. Also, it surpassed the street's EPS estimate in three of the trailing four quarters. And over the past nine months, the stock has gained 33.9%. All right, guys, so there you have it. Three stocks that are going to be supplying the new iPhone 13 come September. So this is a way to keep a diversified portfolio, or at least a little more diversified, without having to put all your eggs into just the Apple basket. I do personally like Apple stock. I am invested in them, but I see a lot of potential with these three other companies as far as their ability to continue increasing their profit levels by selling and providing the Apple products, right? So might as well keep a, a open mind here and consider these three stocks for your portfolio. But again, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just bringing the information to you so that you can start your own due diligence. It's just provided for information and entertainment purposes only. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of these three stocks or what you think of Apple and where are these three stocks going to go in the future after September happens and they start really pushing out that iPhone 13. Now, I'm not going to buy the iPhone 13. I just got the iPhone 11, I think, so I'm a little bit behind. But nonetheless, guys, thanks so much for checking out today's video and until next time, bottoms up.